do a video to post on YouTube? Well, I'm already filming, so. Oh, that's nice lighting. Although, now I don't want to actually talk. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Okay, we're going to look at a Brent 740 gravity wagon. Thankfully, Chris drove today because the other option was to take my dad's truck. It would have been a little far. It's about three and a half hours each way. So. Hopefully it looks good and Chris is towing something back. There's the wagon. Well, not home yet. <laughs> Good stop. That is. It's broken. Yeah, we'll fix it though. <laughs> what do you think of the new wagon huds? Yeah. This one came back a little bit dirtier than I would have liked. Uh, a neighboring farm was borrowing it to, to help get done. But uh, let's see if I can sneak back. <laughs> yeah, everything tucked away beside the snowmobile trailer. So yeah, have the Brent 740 back home. I am super excited for it. Um, let's see if I can, <laughs> you guys, nobody can see anything, but, um, <laughs> okay, 
Maybe once get the snowmobile trailer out, eh, I will uh, be able to compare them more side by side. But yeah, the Brent 740. This is the Ficklin 7200. I'm really happy about this. Uh, we had to go a considerable distance, three and a half hours there. Uh, it didn't pull the fastest on the way back, so it didn't. Took us like five hours on the way back, but thankful for my brother uh, for helping. Uh, was able to take his truck, and then obviously him driving. Sound out of shape. But uh, yeah, basically the decision was I had those two Parker 4800s. Um, I'll admit, when I bought them, they were advertised as Parker 600s, and I made the mistake. I made the mistake of I didn't look at them, uh, or I didn't drive to look at them beforehand. So um, I looked at the pictures, looked at the ads, and when I got them, the 4800 was painted over. So is what it is. They were a bit on the smaller side with having the two uh, JNM 650s and the Ficklin 7200. Having an odd number wasn't the best, most efficient getting the, the grain into town. So I would only end up using four anyways. So I decided after harvest was to try to sell the two Parkers and then look for a bigger one. Uh, I didn't think I would find anything too fast or in Michigan. And with diesel prices, trucking was gonna be probably expensive. So I figured I'd wait, but found uh, this in the thumb of Michigan. So again, uh, quite a, quite a drive, but uh, the price was awesome. The farmer was amazing uh, to talk with and uh, ultimately we got it home. So now the plan is moving forward to have the two JNM 650s hauling 12, 1300 at a time and then pair these two, uh, the 750. It's a Brent 740, but it's rated at 750 bushel. So probably like 700 and this one is usually around 700. So 1400 bushel at a time with these two, uh, probably the most efficient. And I like the wagons, so I'm gonna crawl down. <laughs> Obviously got it in here pretty tight, but it fits and yeah, the nice thing that I like is these are the 10 bolt, uh, uh, 10 bolt 445, um, uh, 22.5 tires. So they match with this one and then uh, yeah, um, should be really nice. I'm really happy to have found it. Obviously not new new, but also not paying, didn't have to pay new price for it either. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I'll eventually do a kind of a side by side. Uh, the Brent is definitely taller. Um, and uh, <laughs> Brent 740. Um, the Brenton is taller than the Ficklin. Ficklin is an older variety. I'm not sure who actually bought them out, but uh, um, just overall really nice. Um, it got a little dirty on the way back. Uh, may have to brush it off or do something, but nice unload door. I'd say nice everything. I'm 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 really excited. <laughs> uh, gonna get home with my little guy now. Um, he had a Really fun day with Grams, so thankful for that. Um, but uh, miss him, get home to my wife, and yeah, it's been a good day. It's the day after Thanksgiving, and um, corn harvest is done, and yeah, now I just have this to look forward to. Mm -hmm.